Hey guys, let's browse them back at you one more again. I hope you are doing blessed on the sensational Sabbath Sunday. I know I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same thing for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, and love and light to you. And many blessings are yet to come. And thank you for the love and support to see what I'm about. And if you can, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you resonate and enjoy with you what you heard and saw, please give me a thumbs up and even drop me a comment if you feel comfortable enough. I love the positive feedback. And if you are returning sub, thank you so much for coming by and showing love and support. Namaste, love and blessings to you and love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you too. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, signs that you know you're starting to become successful. When you can step out your comfort zone, when you know you can step out your comfort zone and know there is more out there than what you're dealing with, that is a sign that you know you're starting to become successful. When you know you step out that comfort zone, it's like with us, we are so comfortable with things in our daily routine. And, you know, you come, sometimes become bored with it. But, you know, some people, are, some people are actually comfortable with doing that. But it's never good to stay in the same place all the time. You need to be able to explore. When you know that your mind is hunger, you know, is hungry for more knowledge and more research. Like, you know, I want to know more about myself. If, you know, there are certain things and talents that you have, you want, you want to do more research on that. If you're wanting you know, wanting to step out and say, hey, you know, I want to do this. I want to do that. Because there's so many of us that I've said in previous videos that have so many talents, but are so scared to step out of that comfort zone because we're worried about what people say. We worried about what people think, wondering how people will take us. That's a number two sign. When you know you can accept yourself, you don't look for validation from anybody else because there's a lot of people that are going to like us. There's a lot of people that are not going to like us. There are going to be some people that just love us because we're sending out, this, especially with YouTubers, when you're sending out messages and they're like, hey, I get that. I really get that. And that's when you know you're starting to become successful. It's just when I look at like my, 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 my subscribers are starting to grow and grow every day. You know, more people are feeling comfortable enough to talk to me and say, you know what, I resonate with what you're talking about. Or they give their opinion about that. I love that. And that's when you know you're starting to get some more support on what you're doing. And that lets you know you're on the right path. I see that every day. When you know you're more successful is when you're able to take that failure and that loss and use it as a stepping stone to get up higher in life. Because I don't care about losses. I really don't. You know, because it's just like you can use that as a tool. Like I say, you use positivity and negativity and use that as a stepping stool. It's just like right now we're at jobs that, you know, you really don't want to be at. But it gravitated us there for a certain, you know, a certain experience, a certain lesson that we have to deal with. Because it's just sometimes when you're dealing with certain jobs and stuff like that, you're like, Ugh why I got to be here because there's sometimes you know you have a choice to be there and that's another thing you have a choice but I understand just like with my situation you have to deal with what you have to deal with at the time but it's always a lesson learned off of every experience you go through and if you're willing to open up your mind and soak up all that that's another reason why you know you're starting to become successful when you start get stop giving up excuses saying I can't do this I can't do that I can't do this and I can't do that or you know I can't you know step out you know and do this job or you know whatever your talent needs to be used in the universe when you start saying I can or you're starting to say oh I am when you're starting to say I can and I am that's when you know you're starting to become successful and you know when you stop worrying about what people you know you don't validate yourself with other people as long as you love yourself and know who you are you know more people will start loving you too you know when you start thinking oh I can't do this or oh I'm a failure I'm a this that's all you're gonna attract I don't do that you know and another sign when you know you're start you're starting to become successful you'll start Anything that makes you feel uncomfortable as when it comes to toxic things like toxic people, toxic situations, 
that's when you know you're starting to become successful. I gave up cigarettes. I gave up weed. I started giving up. Oh my! I started getting out uh, away from toxic people, toxic relationships. You know, I understand. Like with certain situations, like I'm in, you might not be able to get away that quickly, especially if it's in the family. But you can know how to deal with it. You know, not cope. Deal. And that's how you know when you're starting to become successful. And you'll start seeing more and more people will start loving you exactly how you are. And you're starting to, you know, educate people. And you're starting to, you know, people are starting to educate you. Because it's like when you have a positive, positive surroundings and positive people that you deal with, you're starting to learn off of each other and you, you know you can help somebody else while you're helping yourself like I love like I said I love doing these videos and it's just like you know I, I feel like the subscribers are my family I always call them brother sister friend you know I, I call them you know fam you know what I'm saying that's when you know you're starting to become successful because you know when, especially doing these videos you have so many different walks of life and it's like I'm soaking up all this knowledge and I want to lear learn more about myself and you learn more about people and their different cultures and the things that they do. You know, you may, you know, they might get some stuff off of you and say, you know what, I like what she does or I like what he does. Let me, you know, let me learn more about this. I might be able to collaborate with things that I got going on that they have going on and it's vice versa. So that's when you know you're starting to become successful. When you start being able to accept the things that go on because our life was not perfect our life is not going to be a bed of roses we're all human we all make mistakes we're all going to feel some type of way about certain things but that's fine when you stop being hard on yourself and knowing hey it's okay it's a day-by-day -day basis it's one step of it one step at a time that's when you know you're starting to become successful and then when you start knowing that you're there when you can start visualizing yourself and seeing the things that you you're doing in the future and you, you have to keep that as long as you keep that negativity you know even though the negative mind you know that ego has that thing where you know when you start exploring and start doing new different things that ego will try to pull you back because it's uncomfortable it's something that is very foreign to you when you allow yourself to do what you need to do and not let negative people or your negative thinking hold you back that's when you know you're starting to become successful so guys, I'm not going to hold you up today. Um, I was doing some more research about the age of the Aquarius and I might go ahead and make a video about that today. So I was doing research on that and I found that very intriguing. And that's another thing, you know, when you're, when you're starting to reach out and you see things that, you know, it, it'll keep coming to you in synchronicities. Like if you know, if you see, like, especially if you're like me and you're a YouTuber that watch other YouTube channels. And you start seeing a certain thing that sticks out to you and it's starting to come to you more than once in more than different ways. It's time for you to start researching on that because it might be telling you something about yourself that you didn't even know. And when you're knowing about stuff like that, that's letting you know that you're going to start becoming successful or you're starting to become successful. Because we're even though you're feeling right now, might not be right where you want to be at, but you can visualize yourself as being there. You'll know sooner or later you will be there. You just have to keep that mindset. And I will talk to you later. Oh, and right now, I'm listening to 8 Hour Sleep, peaceful music, relaxing meditation, sleep music. And I will post that in the link below. And I apologize if you guys, it was at, I, I said that I was going to post the link down below of the music and the meditations. And I forgot about it because it's like so many I've listened to. And I forget which one it is. So I do apologize for that. But this one, I promise I will go ahead and link that one down below. And I will talk to you later. Much love. And I hope anybody who's doing anything for the weekend, because it's weekend, we relax. You might have a mimosa. You might have a... You know, whatever you do to help you relax, just do it responsibly. And I hope everybody's having a blessed day and a blessed weekend. And I will keep you in my prayers and I hope the same you'll keep for me. And I will talk to you later. Peace. And be well. Oh, yes. And like and subscribe. Even hit me up. You know, hit me up a couple of lines. I love the positive feedback. And I will talk to you later. Peace. And be well.